Okay, so we've got the milk float motor, and as you can see, the shaft is turning. But currently, we've got two batteries on it. Okay, and it's running at yeah about 24 volts. Okay, because that's two batteries. Okay, we've got a peak current of around about 16 amps. Let's just reset that. Okay, and give it a sec. Three. Okay, eight. There you go. Mark space ratio. It's actually stopped, but that's the mark space ratio roughly. 10 milliseconds um, of about 200. So that's. What's that, 5%? Oh, anyway. uh, and there's the temperature. Okay, now it, it's pretty static at that. Obviously, it's higher now. The previous one was at about 37. This is now 53. But that's because it's passing more voltage. So the higher voltage has had an effect on the temperature. Okay, it's only just turning. Now, <coughs> in fact, let's bring it round. There we go. And so, and we're just going to go a quick spin up to full speed and then down again. And so, we can do that by shortening the uh, by lengthening the mark, sorry, as you can see, and what's it has an effect on the voltage because it's pulling more current now. Peaked at 24, and rising to 28. That probably won't change at all. In fact, it's dropped. Okay, so that's 28.30, and we've got a rough. 50% mark space ratio now. Put it on auto. And we try and reduce the time spacing. There we go. Uh, like that. That's it. So it's not. It's not 50%, but it's not too far off. Okay, let's uh, increase the mark, uh, uh, the mark time, to take it up to what would be about 50%. You can hear the motor running, so that's getting pretty close to 50%. This is taken at the actual output of the IGBT, and the motor's running. You can see. And now we're going to reduce the space to increase the speed further. Okay. To take it up to full. Uh -huh. So the space is decreasing. We're running at about 18 volts on the battery. Ish. Because they're on charges, so obviously we're taking quite a bit of power, aren't we? And there we go, getting close. Now, bearing in mind this motor is a 10 kilowatt motor, so and I don't know what it's running at, but it's probably come, so it's going to get close to about 20,000 RPM. Temperature dropped quite nicely, actually. We're okay to go, and that's pretty much full now. Maximum speed. There it is, running in about 17 volts, but it's pulling full current now. The actual current is 17 amps. Okay. Now I'm just going to stop it because the poor batteries are killing themselves trying to maintain the power. And I can actually smell that battery. <laughs> it's getting quite warm. Yeah, it is. So we'll let things recover. And you can see the rundown is quite considerable because there's an awful lot of metal in there, so there's a lot of momentum. And. I couldn't in fact just turn this on now because it would probably throw it off the trolley and that would be very big, a big problem. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, and obviously the IGBTs have recovered somewhat. There we go. That was a bit of fun, wasn't it? And they've recovered back to 24 volts, so you can't see it too well. There.